me too. For sure. But I definitely need a nap. That's one way to enter an episode. We all need naps. Everyone go take a quick nap. All right, I'll be back. I'm out of here. <laughs> Literally, though, welcome to the couch. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Happy almost Halloween at this point. Um, a few weeks? No, it's like a week, I believe. But it's, it's within the next week, isn't it? All right, well, what are you dressing up as? Oh, so I think I'm. my family and I are doing Princess Leia. No, not Princess Leia. We're doing Star Wars, and I'm Princess Leia. So I have to put the little cute buns on the side of my head. Um, and my little sisters are dressing up, and it's all fun and games. Are you Are you doing anything? A couple of costumes or anything? Yeah, well, we haven't talked about them. For sure, we'll probably do something. My Actually, my my uncle's having a party. It's his, it's, uh, his birthday. It's his I love 60th. that. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do something. We'll, we'll we'll definitely dress up as a couple for sure. I don't know I if we did that. if we did that last year, but it would be fun. So do it, do it, do it. Um. Yep. Anyways, happy Halloween. Stay safe this Halloween weekend. Um. You know, both with candy and out on the roadways and in your environments. Um. Sometimes this could be, um, a very weird time um and it can be sometimes a really unsafe time so please make sure you're being aware of your surroundings and you're staying safe um but without further ado um our topic tonight is talking about the impact healthy habits can have on you did i is that was that correct? yes no 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 no. you're right for sure right because i'll start this off here because do. habits are a large part of our life right large part of everybody's life and it's funny because I feel like a lot of habits that we do that we consistently do eventually we do them so often sometimes day after day week after week that we kind of just almost forget like we're doing right a lot of times and we really don't take a step back zoom out from everything and look and be like wow I keep you know what like for example I'll give you a perfect example this is this is a habit of mine I'm throwing it out there I'm putting myself on blast. I'm gaslighting my oh, myself, everything, but I stay up too late. I it's just late to of mine that I just stay up. Like last night I was up watching TV till like 1 30. And it, it's just <laughs> I was up till 1 30 too. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a it's you no, know, it's it's just it's a bad habit. And I consist I consistently do it a lot. And thinking about it today, I'm like, I gotta stop. I gotta stop doing that, right? But when we're doing stuff, when we, when we make it a habit, it's hard to break it. And talking about, you know, positive habits in our life, right? they can, you know, you have more positive habits in your life that's going to help you to, to have a more positive life. But if we have a lot of negative habits, then we're going down that road. So it's almost like, you know, more positive habits, we go this way. More negative habits, we go that way. But the great thing about life is that we can make that change, right? Mm-hmm. We can make that change with those negative habits and we can either replace them with positive habits or we can just get rid of them. It isn't easy to do, but I mean, I, I'm just, for me, now this is my belief that your habits, what you consistently do on an everyday basis has just, it, it is basically a large part determines like the road you take, where you end up in life, like where you go. No, I, I really like um, that you made the the point about that the great thing about life is that if for some reason a a healthy habit that was once healthy becomes unhealthy for us, we can change. Um, And we're not subjected to staying in this one path for life. And um, also if we are having a lot more negative habits, we can change. Um, And that's, that's the good thing about it. But I also think it's like important for people to understand that on top of that is like, we're humans. We're going to have really, really sometimes negative habits. Um, some are unintentional at some points. And, um, sometimes we, we don't realize the impact it has on us staying up until one thirty and like really enjoying TV. Well, you might not be running on a lot of sleep. <laughs> you might be running on a very, very, very low amount of sleep the next day. Um, and, same thing with procrastination. I'm a procrastinator. It's so, it's so bad. I, I put the pro in procrastination sometimes. And, um, I, then I get stressed because I'm trying to do it all on the weekend. And I'm like, why don't I just do it throughout the week when I have free time? Like, why do I do this to myself? And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. And then I get caught up in other things. And then next thing you know, it's like all spiraling out of control. And I'm like, this is nice. This is great. I love this for me. But Um, yeah, I think it's sometimes good that we also practice self-reflection. Sometimes we forget to like take a minute and just reflect on life as a whole. 
see where we are, see what see what where we've been, where we're going, how we're doing. Um, and sometimes ha- habits do need to be changed a little bit. Um, it's even the healthy ones. And, um, but it's important to know and to recognize when certain habits are having a really, really poor impact on our life. For example, for me, I recently took a break from Snapchat and I have almost pretty much cut an entire habit of constantly being on Snapchat when I'm on my phone. So if I'm on my phone, like the first app I go to is Snapchat easy peasy, like said and done. Like I used to do that. Now, like I've been off it for almost a month and I've re-downloaded it, but I have not touched that thing all day long. All right, so let me, let me, let me ask you this, how, cause this is a great, cause that you're talking about how you changed a habit that was, you could say negatively affecting you, correct? Mm-hmm. To, so that's a great example of just cutting it out. You're not replacing it with anything. So and you saying that, I think this is a great segue to ask, did you notice anything, right? Did you really notice a change when you took that thing away from your life that was, you could say, negatively affecting you? No, I'm like not, I'm not, not kidding when I say it seriously did because I feel so sometimes Snapchat can really foster um, creating poor foundations for relationships of any kind. And um I just was like, I need to step back because if people really do want to text me and they they want me in their life, then they'll text me via text. I had people unadd me when I got back on. I had tons and tons. I've had people stop snapping me altogether. Um, and yeah, I, you know what? I'm okay with that because that just goes to show that, um, you know, people were more upset that I didn't answer rather than checking on me to make sure I'm okay. Um, and at the same time, I was like, it's negatively affecting me. It's negatively affecting me just as a teen. Like, I, I just, I just, I don't want to be in this like atmosphere. And that's, that's personally for me and me only. And that's why I was like, I just, I kind of need to, to get off this for a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. There's other ways to contact me if people want to talk to me. Um, and all of those avenues are open, but I personally did not want to be on Snapchat anymore. I wanted to take a break from it. I do know that that is a lot of people's also communication routes. So that's why I redownloaded it. But now I'm on very, very rarely. Um, and it, I was so, I was the happiest I've probably ever could have been the last couple of weeks because I just didn't have that negative social media. I started seeking out more positive media. Um, and if I didn't really like something that was maybe really crushing my mood, I went and found something else that was better for me. Um, and I learned to control my media consumption, which was a significant thing that I needed to learn personally. And I'm really happy because I've been able to be a little bit more present with my life. I'm not so about like, I need to post this on Snapchat. Oh, that was so funny. Like I'm just enjoying the moment as is. And it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. I will give it that. That's that, that's awesome here, right? Just listen to that impact just of taking away just one negative thing. You said it's the happiest I've been. That's awesome. Yes. That's great, right? Yes. You and never realize said, what certain media can do to you when it comes to being present. Like well, you know what's you know what's interesting, and I'll just throw this out there is that I try to post every single day. And I try to post three times a day. All right. And it's just it's funny because we're talking about social media and posting and getting stuff out there. When I don't post, there's actually this, this crazy, this calmness to me where it's just like, you want to something today? I'm just not posting. Right. Exactly. I'm not putting anything. The world can wait. Exactly. But sometimes I'm just like, Oh no, I got to get something up. What do I do? And I stare at my phone and I'm uh, uh, right. Cause yeah, I want to like, get, I haven't posted in a week. Exactly. <laughs> I want to get some content out. Right. For my page and it's just funny when, when you were talking about that that's what i was thinking about how it's just i have this calmness to me and, and it's just like it's funny too because sometimes if i don't post then i'm like oh crap i haven't done anything in like three four days because it's just like so mellow so chill and relax mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i don't know that was just a, a random thought i i thought i'd throw out there because it's no, just no, it's totally good but in the beginning when i was t- when i was talking about positive habits i definitely should have said and you brought it up like Everybody has negative habits, right? Doesn't doesn't matter who they doesn't matter who you are, how successful you are, like how disciplined. Everybody in their life has negative habits because it's just it's just who we are. It, it's just people, we're humans. We're right? humans. Exactly, exactly. But I think that there's, you know, you could almost say different levels to habits in affecting your life because mm-hmm. right because there are some habits that are going to 
largely affect your life. Mm -hmm. And then there are some habits that, you know, aren't really going to affect your life as much, not to say they won't affect your life at all, but as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you'd probably see a bigger change or impact with something that is seriously affecting your life compared to something that's really small, but they're both still as equally, um, they both still need the equal amount of attention when it comes to addressing it. Um, you know, and I think we could go on about how to address healthy habits, but uh, uh, how to create healthy habits, um, journaling and all that other stuff. But again, that doesn't work for every person. And you need to be able to kind of personally reflect, like, we've all been there where we're like, this is really like affecting my life. Like, how can I stop this? And we all have to do different things. And that's okay. Because again, I can't be the voice of reason when it comes to, oh, well, maybe you should do this because that's not going to work for everyone. Like some people would rather turn their notifications off on social media, but still keep it and go in on that their leisure to break a habit. For me, I know I had to delete that whole thing and get it out. Like I knew that if it was on my phone, I was going to go on it no matter what. And that turning off comments or not turning off notifications for me would honestly bring me more anxiety and make me go on the app more. So, um, you know, we all have to do different things to break unhealthy habits and we all have to do different mm -hmm. things to create one. Um, right. you just need to be able to find that, that in between for you that works for you when it comes to establishing a foundation that's healthy, but you also practice a lot of self-reflection. Um, you are, uh, more, um, a tolerant to change and to uh, a variety of, of other different things. No, I agree with that. Cause I mean, just as you great, you bring up a great point because just as people are different learners, right? Like some people mm -hmm. are better audio learners. Some people are better visual learners. Well, some people, ev everybody handles things differently. So I a hundred percent agree. It's not like one thing is going to help everybody, but in saying that, I think it's important that you, you, you said, you just brought up, you know, you were like, all right, how can I change my, like, I need to change something. And so if you're having that conversation with yourself, then I, I think the biggest thing is to actually take an action step. I'm not, mm -hmm. I don't know what action steps can help you. Cause as I just said, everyone's different, but if you're having that conversation with yourself, you know, something needs to change. Then the biggest thing is to not, not do anything, not procrastinate, but <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see if you caught that. I was like, procrastinate but to actually <laughs> to take action and to make some sort of change with that habit that's negatively affecting your life yes yeah i couldn't have said it any better um but i think the consensus is that habits do have an impact on your life for the better or for worse um and the ones that do you dirty <laughs> that do you dirty we need to address and we need to figure out how we can address that internally within ourselves because we only know ourselves best and maybe like if we know that if we can't turn off notifications and we need to delete the whole app delete the whole app um and that again some people have um a higher uh like patience when it comes to that i don't unfortunately i had to delete the whole thing for four weeks um, but it did me so well. And again, that's going to look different for everyone. So you just need to find your drive when it comes to that. Um, come to that. But I think, you know, practicing that self-reflection and having that conversation with yourself when you know, notice something is um, not going, it's not doing you very well. Um, you know, take, take some small action steps too, because it's not going to happen overnight. But do take some small action steps so you can start that process of changing it. That's big. Not to go too deep into it, but you're right. Not this large action step, small ones and progressing, right? Because so, it has a large impact at the end of the day. I agree, for sure. I don't know. Well, thank you for joining our conversation. Um, we do hope that you like this. Uh, if you do, put it in the comments below, add more to the conversation, like, subscribe. And you know, maybe, maybe if you're willing to share, what's a habit or two of yours if you want to put it in the comments that maybe you want to get rid of, you want to replace. Or, or that you are, or that are working well for you. There you go. Yes, I was going to say, we're a positive habit that is working well for you. So, mm -hmm. share with us, let us know. Let us know in the comments. And we will see you in two weeks. Remember to be you.